Okay. Stand by. Send it. Box three. Well, good morning, or, or afternoon, depending on where you are. Been gone a while, had COVID and the long COVID, so I was coughing at Sorma for about three months. But I figure I'm well enough now I can start making videos, and I thought I'd start with uh, Star Citizen, because I wasn't playing much Conqueror's Blade. Uh, do a hardware change, I have a brand new 49-inch monitor, and Conqueror's Blade doesn't really play on that very well. So I wanted to look at uh, Star Citizen, and I'm going to start with uh, the Gladiator. And uh, before we get into that, let's let's take a look at our timestamps. So uh, I'm going to talk about original pledge hopes. Like I pledged for the Gladiator way back when it first was released. I'm an original backer, and then I'm going to talk about the Hammerhead because the subcapital ships are supposed to be the Gladiator's target. It's a torpedo boat. Then I'm going to compare it with the Eclipse because why would you take a Gladiator when the Eclipse seems to do everything better? And uh, then I'm going to show you how to alpha a hammerhead with a pair of gladiators. I'm going to show you some gameplay, gameplay footage, and then I'm going to give you thoughts on strike terminology on how to do it. And the reason I'm doing this is, is when Star Citizen first launched, uh, my buddies and I thought, okay, we're going to be a Hornet squadron, uh, that, and we're going to escort a gladiator, a buddy's gladiator flight, or, or, or however that's going to roll. But we're going to, we're going to operate off a carrier. We want to be like a strike carrier group and that sort of thing and the reason that is is because we do play a lot of dcs and back in the day we were playing world war ii online and other flight sim games and so we like the whole idea of being a strike uh, package and we also played eve online so we were hoping that star citizen pvp would evolve into like a sovereignty style warfare that eve online has but using you know actually being in your fighters as a strike package right so that's what we were hoping but the problem has has, has uh, come along that because the gladiator and the hornet are so old they're pretty much kind of legacy out like no one takes a gladiator for anything very much uh and the hornet isn't really a premier fighter i mean the gladius uh does much better um so we were wondering like is there anything we can do with this gladiator and that's that's one of the problems is is we're hoping it gets fixed later on we're hoping there's a reason but right now when you look at the gladiator versus the eclipse you know you can see that you you know the eclipse does a lot of things a lot better now there are other things that gladiator does have like a larger health pool that kind of thing but the eclipse even if you put them side by side like this you can see that the eclipse and the gladiator have the same footprint so you know, one of the reasons you'd want to take a gladiator, let's say, is if its footprint was so much smaller than the Eclipse that you can sit them on a carrier, you could put them, you know, you could put, let's say, three gladiators for every two Eclipses. But even then, uh, the sheer damage volume just doesn't add up because the Eclipse carries size nine torpedoes and the gladiator carries size five. So why would you take a gladiator over an Eclipse? And the shorter answer is, is I don't see why you would. The Eclipse, you know, it has that such high damage output that you wouldn't want to other than the fun factor uh so the eclipse uh hits with a size nine torpedo uh, and it's got three of them versus the size fives the gladiator carries and uh, we're going to get into the damage output and all that stuff later but i just wanted to show you that the first reason you would want to take an eclipse over a gladiator or a gladiator over an eclipse is because the eclipse and the gladiator have pretty much the same footprint sitting on the deck even when you fold the wings on the gladiator there or on the eclipse it's the same now for the gladiator that in lore is supposed to be the carrier fighter you would think that you know one of the aspects of a carrier fighter is the fact that you can fold your wings that you can make that footprint smaller so you can fit it on the deck right but you can't do that with the gladiator and it's it's pay its payload is is anemic when you compare it to the eclipse so that's one of the reasons we were going to look at now before we even get started with that we should probably talk about the primary target of both the Eclipse and the Gladiator. 
And that primary target would be capital and subcapital ships. And the only capital subcapital ship we have that's a combat ship right now is, is the Hammerhead. Now you could go up after an 890 jump or, or a Reclaimer, but the Hammerhead is the, you know, that's the one that you're going to hit right now. And that's the one that everyone farms with the Eclipse, like one shot on a Hammerhead and you can kill it. So let's take a look at the Hammerhead stats. So let me bring these up here. Now you can see that there's already an error or something that I don't understand in these, these stats. And this is from uh, Urkel's. Uh, and you can look how it says body, nose, right? And they're 80,000 each. And then the total is 295. And to me, that doesn't make any, any sense, right? The total would be 160. So that's kind of odd. Uh, and then if you go and you look over at the shield over here, you can see it's 200,000. Now, what I believe it actually is, is I believe that 295 is a mistake and it's actually 160 on the body and, and the nose because uh, you can kill a hammerhead with eight size five torpedoes if you do it right, right? So the total, the total health pool of this thing, uh, depending on whether you go with the total number or the two separate ones added, is either four, 495,000 right or three um or 360. so i think it's the lower number because when you look at uh the way the shields are put together on a hammerhead you can quickly see why it only takes eight size fives to, to kill one now if you look the front shields seem to extend all the way back to the center line and then the aft shields are somewhere about right where I've got the green line there. And the side shields are um, in that, that, that it's portion between the red and the, and the, and the green line. Um, so the whole front of the ship is the front shields. And so these are quartered. And so what that means is, is that that 200,000 number is divided between four sectors, right? So it's really only 50,000. So if you're hitting the front of the ship or the rear of the ship or the side of the ship, it's going to be, you know, that number added up. So it's going to be 80,000 plus 50, right? And that is roughly 7.6 uh, size 5 torpedoes, right? So what about the body? It says there nose and body. And so I'm looking at that. Is it the red line or the green line, right? Because the shield's already divided the red line. And you can, you can see that uh, link in the description of where I got that information. So is it the green line or the red line? Now the problem comes when you're shooting at the uh, hammerhead with the gladiator. You have to hit one sector and one sector only to kill it. So if you're coming straight down on it, like how this view is, your torpedoes have a chance of going into different sectors. Right, and so you won't get that kill because the total health pool of the of the hammerhead is sitting around, you know, three hundred and sixty thousand. And that's why I think it's the lower number is because if eight torpedoes destroy the hammerhead by blowing off an entire sector, then that has to be around one hundred thirty thousand, right? And so um, if you come at the hammerhead right down its throat or right up its uh, rear aspect, and all eight hit, uh, the hammerhead explodes, right? I've, I've got some great footage of this. If one of those torpedoes hits a different shield facing, the hammerhead does not explode, right? Now you can follow up with a few, couple of size twos and that'll, that'll do it. Uh, the other thing that is, is you'll notice is we've tried also a few times we, where we, uh, delayed the shot. Like we thought, okay, well, the first set of four will blow the shield. The second set of four will uh, kill the body and it seems every time we tried it whenever you delayed the shot the hammerhead lived and you had to like go in with guns right or, or or shoot missiles at it so that became an issue so it turned out that if the hammerhead was coming straight at us uh, and we fired concurrently all eight torpedoes hit at once the hammerhead went poof right now this is against ai obviously and because i can't think of any player that is going to allow you to get away with shooting eight torpedoes at him without popping chaff. Uh, now, granted, we're firing at like 3,000 to 5,000 uh, meters, but that is the case. Uh, but I just wanted to show that it, that it's possible that you can actually uh, 
kill a hammerhead, or a stock one anyway, with eight torpedoes. Now, during a PvP fight, is the player going to do that? Is he going to let you do that? Who knows? It depends on what else is in the fight, I guess. But if you can, ma if you know that you have to go for a, a down-the-throat shot or a rear aspect shot, you can maneuver the gladiators to do that. Especially if, you know, you have escort. Because I can't see anyone sending a strike in without at least having a little bit of escort, even with an eclipse, right? So let's put that aside for now on the PvP aspect of it because there's so many different variables. The fact that you know that you can actually blow away a hammerhead with eight size five torpedoes is what we're going to go on with right now. So let's take a quick comparison on how I know this with the Eclipse and the uh, gladi uh, Gladiator, and I'll put the uh, missiles side by side and the, and the two ships side by side, and we'll see just why, uh, you know, this is possible. Especially since when you realize that it doesn't matter where the Eclipse hits the Gladiator, or the, the uh, Hammerhead, because that 395,000 damage the size 9 torpedo does is always going to poof it. doesn't matter where it hits, right? So that's why the Eclipse is a little bit better than the uh, the Gladiator, because it doesn't matter where it hits. Now, there are some detractors, and we'll get into that, but uh, let me grab the next slide here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is the base stats of the Gladiator and the Eclipse sitting side by side. So you can see they have a little roll of bomber and stealth bomber. They're both combat. They're both size 2, so they have a similar footprint. Eclipse can fold its wings. Gladiator cannot. Uh, body and nose, uh, you can see that the Gladiator is like has three times the, the health pool as the Eclipse. Shields, um, you know, uh, the Gladiator has 3,000 shields and the Eclipse has 3,300 shields. So all of these things uh, come forward to make it real, make you realize, okay, the Gladiator is meant for going in hostile combat. It's got a health pool. It can, it can uh, survive in combat if it needs to, uh, and the Eclipse cannot. So that's, I can see where the dev's going with that. You know, the Gladiator has uh, the ability to survive a little easier in the combat role. Like, so let's suppose there's a PvP fight, massive fleet battle, you know, everyone's pinging like crazy. It's going to be unlikely for an Eclipse to get in unseen, to drop that massive torpedo. And... You can see that, that um, you know, its detection rate is like 6,000 on the EM, 4,000 on the IR and the Eclipse. Now, you can bring that down uh, by turning off power, turning off, uh, turning off power to, to guns and turning off your shields, right? So you can bring that down to 3,000. And that's, again, a stock Eclipse. That's not adding in more stealth components, right? So just by that alone, um, you can see that, the Gladiator is more meant for contested combat, and the Eclipse is a sneaky attack. And, and that, of course, it's in the name, Stealth fight, stealth Bomber, Bomber, right? Uh, but then you look at the missiles, the damage, you can see that the Stalker 5, it's a cross-section, 17,000 damage, speed is 900, and the Argos 9, 395,000 damage. So with the health pool of a Hammerhead of 360, that's why it insta-pops and speed 521. So you could you could almost say that if if you are launching your Argos 9 from max range, which is like 30,000, it looks like, lock range max, uh, the Hammerhead doesn't even have to pop chaff. He just turns away and boosts, right? Because he can get out past 521 quite easily. Uh, not so easy for the Stalker 5s because they're doing 900. So you almost have to get in tight with the Eclipse so that the Hammerhead doesn't get away, right? So that the capital ship doesn't get away. And the Stalker 5s, uh, you have a little bit more way of that with the 900. But again, you want to get in tight so that you can make sure that you shoot at that aspect. And that aspect, as you can see, adds up to 130,000 points. So 80 for the body, 50 for the shield facing. And that's why, if you look at a Stalker 5, you take that 130,000 and divide it by the damage that the Stalker 5 does, it's 7.6. So if you hit the one aspect with eight torpedoes, it dies. But all the, the PvP pilot has to do is make sure that he never gives you one aspect. Counterintuitively, instead of uh, you know trying to minimize your signature by, by turning toward the bombing, the bombers, 
you know, you want to maximize your signature by presenting your either your top or your bottom so that there's that possibility if your chaff doesn't work that the eight torpedoes spread themselves over the the entire, you know, uh, you know, body of the hammerhead so that, you know, some of the torpedoes might hit the front, some might hit the back. But that's all it's going to take is one torpedo not hitting the same aspect and the hammerhead doesn't go pop. So if you want to guarantee a kill with uh, a hammerhead by completely blowing away its entire health pool, uh, either use the Argos 9, which it has more damage than the entire health pool of the hammerhead, or you've got to bring eight gladiators shooting 32 torpedoes to guarantee that 23 will hit. That's the difference, right? So in, in PvP, you know, uh, I, I don't know anybody that's going to bring eight gladiators to pop one hammerhead. So, you know, as much as I love the gladiator, and I do love the gladiator, it, it's, it, it's, it's not relevant when you consider that if you bring eight eclipses, even if one gets through the, the fighter screen, the hammerhead's dead, Right. And when you consider that the Gladiator itself uh, needs two pilots to run it at its most effective, uh, you know, you're, it doesn't make any sense not to bring a Gladiator. And that's a real shame because I think that the Gladiator should have a role like that. And because if you're going to bring uh, eight, eight ships, eight Eclipses or eight Gladiators to guarantee that kill, may as well be the ships that have the most individual damage potential. And of course, that's the Eclipse, three size nine torpedoes each, you know. So those are my thoughts on the Eclipse and the Gladiator. And I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that because the Gladiator is such a legacy bird, that they, they go back and, and they re, reimagine it, you know, like give it, give it folding wings, like give it the capability of carrying a few more torpedoes or maybe even size six torpedoes, something like that. You know, uh, the, I realize there has to be a trade-off for that massive damage that the Eclipse does. Um, like, like I said, it, the the torpedoes are a lot slower, uh, and it's it's a lot easier to, to to poof an Eclipse and poof a Gladiator. But at the moment, you know, sneaking one Gladiator through a fighter screen, or sorry, uh, one Eclipse through a fighter screen to pop a ship would be a lot easier than sneaking, you know all eight gladiators through all right so i'm hoping i'm hoping that they they sort that out but anyway let's move on to uh watching uh, a couple of uh, shots the first one we're going to look at is going to be um the a delayed launch so we're going to go in we're going to shoot then the other guy's going to shoot uh the, the torpedo is going to hit the gladiator the hammerhead sorry is not going to die so uh my wingman then shoots a second set of size twos, and uh, it pops the hammerhead. The second uh, video is going to be uh, a concurrent launch, and uh, both sets of torpedoes are going to hit, and the hammerhead's going to die. So, and and so let's let's just take a look at that right now, and uh, I'll talk more after. One fifty. What range am I? So I'm launching at five. Okay. Lock. Shit. Five. Box three. So as you can see, he fired uh, his four torpedoes. I waited a couple seconds. I fired my four torpedoes. Uh, they imp so they impacted not at exactly the same time. And so the hammerhead lived. Uh, my wingman's follow-up shot of four size twos exploded the hammerhead. Now, this can either be because the hammerhead's recharge rate of the shields was 
just enough to, to bring it up so that um, my four torpedoes didn't quite have enough to kill it, right? And obviously, the four size twos, were, the follow-on shot did. So, or there could have been just enough that maybe he turned a little bit and I, and uh, it hit another facing. But whatever the reason, every time we've tried a delayed launch, Hammerhead doesn't die. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a concurrent launch. And every time we've done a concurrent launch that the Hammerhead didn't change its facing. So like, for example, you know, it's coming at us and then it turns. At that point, boom, it doesn't get a kill. So well, let's look at that. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one, loose, loose, loose. Pull it out. Nice. So as you can see, the eight torpedoes hit, the hammerhead instantly popped. So it is possible. And uh, now granted, this is not something you would do for farming, you know, ERTs and things like that, because that's, you know, you're splitting eight torpedoes cost between two people, but you're also splitting the bounty. And uh, you're much better taking an eclipse in and snapping the bounty up uh, with one torpedo. But that's not what the focus of this video is. It's supposed to be f to look at the gladiator and the eclipse and what the possible role in a PvP sovereignty fight that I'm hoping is going to come down the line in the future is going to be. And, uh, you know, right now I just, I just can't see why you wouldn't load up your carrier with eclipses versus gladiators. Because even if you do need you need that escort to get them in, you know, one Eclipse torpedo is going to do the job. So if you're trying to escort, let's say, eight gladiators through to get that, make sure that that alpha strike, no matter where the torpedo is hit, blows up the hammerhead or whatever capital ship you're going after, just scale up. Uh, one or two of those gladiators getting popped by the cap fighters before they get in is going to make sure that that ship doesn't die. Whereas, let's suppose you're taking eight eclipses in you can lose seven of them and still get the kill so that that's that that is unfortunate uh you know because you would think that the gladiator would have a role in that regard and one of the roles is you know one of the one of the reasons you would take one over an, an eclipse is that okay well i can put three on the deck for every one eclipse but that just isn't the case so it's unfortunate but uh as fun as the gladiator is um i think it's a lot easier and a lot better just to take eclipses into the fight than the gladiator strictly for those reasons but let's let's hope in the future that maybe the gladiator gets redone it gets a a, a, a role and uh it'll work so we had to come up with uh, terminology now you heard me saying loose 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 and uh we decided that that uh terminology for concurrent was just too uh too mouthy so what we're going with is this instead so we're going to go with uh, the first word command is going to be standby. And that's going to be like two or three kilometers out from the bomb run. And that's basically if you haven't already locked the target, lock the target, select your torps. Ready. So that's when you're like a couple of seconds out from shooting it. And that's going to be uh, all the all the members will reply with their name of the flight. So flight lead goes ready. Two and three will go two, three. He knows that they're all ready. He says send it. Everyone sends it. Everyone says Fox 3 to make sure that the missiles are away. And that's as uh, terse as we figure we can make it because you need to be able to coordinate that concurrent launch. And like I said, we come from DCS world and uh, EVE Online. And so we wanted to to make that strike um, as efficient as possible. And to do that concurrent strike, you do need these kinds of commands. Uh, and so that's it. That's all I've really got to say about uh, the Gladiator Eclipse and the Hammerhead. Uh, and I really hope that uh, CIG sees that the Gladiator needs a little bit of love and, and, and gives it. But thanks for watching. It's been a while since I did a video. I'm going to start doing more again now that I'm back. And uh, have a good one. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.